Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, it's, as the time of this recording anyway, it's the fourth year anniversary of uh, fake Grand Order. At least currently it's being celebrated. I want to say technically speaking, it is on the 25th and it is currently the 26th by the time this is releasing. Um, but if you log in now before the, um, the day roll, you get 30 quarts, so make sure to do that. For sure, but today's video obviously is not actually going down to the full details of the 4th anniversary because I'll handle that when the actual 4th anniversary is here and we have more info. We should get more info right here on this date because um, who knows, maybe they'll have some stuff that JP didn't get, but the one thing for sure we're going to get, which is what this video is about, is the GSSR that we are going to be getting. If you don't know, the GSSR uses paid quartz, uh, 15 of them. In years past, it used to be 30, and currently the going rate is 15 for a multi. It's guaranteed one of the SSRs in it. This year, it is only limited uh, units and is divided into two subsets. And I'm kind of trying to still figure out in my head which one of them to pull on. Uh, so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. It's going to be me kind of coming to a decision by the end of this and kind of giving my thoughts about it. Um, as always, if you have any opinions about what you're going to be summoning on, or just telling me what you want to summon on, um, you can leave them down below. I'll gladly read them. I always suggest going for whichever unit has the unit you like, which is what I've always done with the GSSRs in the past. In the past, I always went for Quetz, and uh, never gave me Quetz. <laughs> but I still went for the chance of it. So yeah, today's video is that. So they're kind of divided into two subsets. One is Knights Class plus Avengers, Moon Cancers, Foreigners, and Rulers, and the other one is the Cavalry Class uh, with Alter Egos in, in the mix as well. And if you don't know what the Cavalry Class, it is Riders, Casters, Assassins, Berserkers, and the Knight Classes are Sabers, Archers, and Lancers. Um, and the units that are on it uh, this year are Arthur, Okita, Sigurd, uh, Bride Nero, Benny Maru is not her name, it is Benny Enma, but I constantly get her confused with Benny Maru from King of Fighters because of the starting name. Uh, Musashi, uh, Shiki, I think it's Void Shiki? They're not going to tell me here, but I'm pretty sure it's Void Shiki. Uh, Summer Saber, Archer, <laughs> um, Ishtar, Gilgamesh, Summer Jean, uh, Moriarty, Erdish. Skahawk, Tamamo, Brunhilda, uh, The Asshole, The Mothman, Sherlock Holmes, Dantes, uh, Gene Alter, Nobu Alter. No, it's not Nobu Alter, it's Nobu Avenger. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Summer BB, uh, Hokusai, and Abby. And over here on the other side, we've got Summer Saber Rider. I also always call Artoria. Um, Saber, because she's just a saber to me, but, you know. Uh, Ivan, Iskandar, uh, Reigns, Ilya, Skitty, Skahawk, uh, Nero, Summer, Merlin, Shikibu, Da Vinci, Kama, Cleopatra, Shudin. Is that how you pronounce the name, right? Shudin, Shudin, Shudin Doji? Sure. Let's go with that. Semiramis, Mysterious, Heroin X, uh, King Asan. Uh, Juno Alter, Kentoki, Mysterious Hero and X Alter, The Pickle Man, Mama Raiko, Okita Alter, uh, Passion Lip, Kiara, and Melt. <sighs> okay, so let me kind of look at this side of the table just to kind of give a current gut check of who I would want versus who I don't want. Um, we've got over here, we got, you know what? I think there's a better way to do this. One moment. All right, here we go. Just to kind of give my thoughts as I go along. Um, okay, so let's start with Amakasu. Now, based on the way I described him, I'm putting him in the don't want category. He's actually an extremely good unit. He's a very good AoE. He gets a pretty cool costume later on. Um, but he's a buster AoE, and he shares the name of two characters that I... Well, one character I don't mind, which is Kotomine, and then the other one is Shiro, which I don't like at all. Uh, Shiro Emiya. So that's why he's being put in the don't want. Um, next, I have them at MP5. That's a huge detriment. So already kind of looking bad for the, <laughs> the Knights class over here. Uh, next we got Arthur. I don't own him, so that would mean I would be perfectly okay with him. I actually am a big fan of Prototype, 
brought in the concept of prototype because I'm an, an English speaker. We don't really get a lot of prototype media, but I've always found them kind of fascinating. Um, I need one more. Uh, I just realized I need one more because there's a ad row above, which would be... Own. Okay. So, I'm putting them here because I already have copies. I already have uh, Bride Nero at MP2. She's extremely good. Um, but I don't really need more copies of her. I'm perfectly fine with the current one I have. Breen Hilda, I can put her in the don't own. I wouldn't mind having. I already own Cleopatra, so she's going in there. I don't own Da Vinci, and I'm almost debating on putting her in want. But I actually... She's... Man. I need to look at... Da Vinci, because I'm almost positive in my mind she's an AoE unit who is Buster. She's Arts! How many hits? One hit? Um, the one hit, that's really the make or break it here for me. Let me see. Actually, she's not, you know, charges on NP by 50%. Um, you know what? Yeah, she belongs there. I'm putting her there. I really like Da Vinci. I love her so much. Also, you know what? This goes more beyond unit because there's a lot of personal preference here. I forgot that Da Vinci has an interlude that deals with the stuff that happens in Lost Belt. So I'm putting her in Want. Uh, Dantes, I already own a copy. But I could use him in MP2. That'd be very good. Gil Gilgamesh, I'm putting him in Don't Want. He's extremely good. Don't get this wrong. Extremely good. But he's an AoE buster unit, and Gilgamesh is not my favorite uh, character. Um, I'm going to put this in Don't Own. Because I wouldn't mind Mysterious Heroine X to, for the interludes, and she's, she's pretty nice. I don't think I would end up using her very much, because I feel like I have better single target quick units. And there's not a lot of cases for me to use her. Um, I'm putting Hichikata in Own, because I have him MP2 somehow. Uh, the Pickle Man ends up being better as time goes on, but don't need more of him, to be honest. Uh, I kind of wish Hijikata wasn't Buster, <laughs> so I could use him more, because, uh, yeah, he's MP2 for me. Uh, at the same, in the same market, I'm kind of putting Okita Alter in the same thing for Own. I already own one copy, and I'm happy with it. Don't own Abby. And actually, now that I think about it, I could want, I kind of want Abby, so I'm going to put Abby up there. There's no real reason other than I really like uh, horror stuff, and the fact that she's related to the Lovecraftian uh, horror stuff would kind of make me want to actually own her. And I actually don't think I have a five-star of the Foreigner class, so that's another good reason to kind of put her up there. Erish, I'm going to put her in the Don't Own. I'm ha I have a sour taste in my mind because she treated me so badly in the two banners that was out for her that I just... At this point, if I get her, it's kind of like a, eh, I'm happy, but it's kind of her past her prime for me, unfortunately, because she is an AoE buster unit. And you're going to hear a lot of this, is that I'm just not really a buster kind of guy, so a lot of units end up kind of getting a little short shrift from me because they're buster. But this is, again, a personal thing for me, personally. Um, but if I got her, I would be extremely happy. So next we got Hasekoi, which I'm going to put up for the own. Semiramis, for the same reason, I'm going to put her in don't own. I think I'm actually leaning to... No, because she's a unit that I don't have, so I wouldn't mind having. Ilya, I own her, so... And I don't really use her much because she's single target buster. Ishtar is a don't want for me because I already have her. Ah, oh, damn it. By that notion, she has to be put in own. But even if I did have her, I would not want more NP copies of her, so she's kind of in limbo here. Iskandar, I own... Don't really need more copies. I'm actually wouldn't be happy if I had more copies of him, though. Even though he is an AoE buster unit, I really do like using him. Hmm. I'm gonna put him there. Don't own Ivan. Wouldn't mind Ivan. Don't have Jolter. Wouldn't mind Jolter. I don't want another copy of Kiara. Mine is already MP2. King of Sun. He's really cool. So I would put him under want. Melt. Hmm, I feel like I'm going to put her under Don't Own. The, the version of Melt that I feel like we're getting for Summer is going to kind of satiate my want for Melt. 
so I don't really need the five star melt in my eye. Merlin, I would want because goddammit, I need someone to be using with Buster's. The real, real, the real, real reason I don't like a lot of Buster servants is because I don't have Merlin, <laughs> so I don't have anyone to really use them with. And at that point, I kind of get lazy and go like, eh, I don't want to use them then. But if I had Merlin, I feel like I'd have a lot more fun times. And especially now that I have, I have two Quetzalcoatls that I would love to use more of, but I really can't because I don't really have a lot of Buster support. So well, Merlin would be nice more than just a friend, Merlin. I don't own you. Yeah, I think you're cool, but I also feel like... No, because you're a new unit, I'm putting you there. I would kind of want Masashi, even though I would prefer kind of her um, summer version. I really like her, which is she's why she's on the want list, even though she is Buster. Uh, hmm. Now, this one's tough, because I actually really do want Nero, but I would never use Nero. I'm putting her in want. For the Emperor. She would be very good around summertime. For summertime stuff, I would gladly have her. Okita. I'm putting her in don't own. Uh, would I want her? Yeah, sure, I would be fine with it. Hmm, Void Cheeky is somewhere between don't own and don't want. Uh, putting her in don't want, to be honest. I'm just not a big fan of what they do with her kit. I prefer the single target Shiki over her. Holmes. I'm gonna put him in don't own, because I really don't know <laughs> the context of which I'd really be using him all that much. So I'm gonna put him there. I already own her, and I don't need any more copies, so I'll put her there. Sigurd, I think, is really cool, but he gets in don't own for me. Let's see, Summer Jean I would kind of want, actually. Summer BB. I wouldn't mind another copy of Summer BB to be honest, because having her MBB just a slightly stronger would be kind of nice, even though I mainly use her for the command code locking stuff. Having her a bit stronger was always nice. And for that notion, I think I'm going to put Mothman in the same way as Sherlock, because I feel like they're both very similar in their uh, uses as someone who kind of buffs. Well, Sherlock buffs the team, and Mothman kind of buffs. But they're kind of, in my mind, they're for challenges and for lost belts. <laughs> for stuff where it's like, this fight is actually hard, let me use the units that are better for boss fights, basically. Benny Enma, I wouldn't mind having. I would like her, I like her a whole bunch. Shikabu, I really like. I can't really tell you what Shikabu does, but I like... I I really like, and you know, I'm just going to put her up there right now. I really like Rite, Rite as Servants. And I think I'm also going to put Shuna in a want. Uh, I don't have a single one of them 5-star. Let me go. Well, you know what? To be fair. Here's another one. And where is he? He's also one. I really don't have any of them that are 5-star. Either male or female. Uh, they just never come for me. For Kintoki, even though he is a single target buster, he is a bro and I love that future outfit he gets. For Shuden, I would never use her, but I think she has some interludes that kind of go into a future Lost Belt King that I really want to get into. I don't think it's a Lost Belt King. It's a future Lost Belt enemy. Shikabu. And we have Moriarty. <laughs> I just really like Shikabu, that's it. Uh, shout out to Lerp who has her MP5 and didn't want her. Um, where was I? Moriarty. I really like Moriarty. Maybe that makes me a villain, because I put Moriarty in want, but Sherlock's is in don't know. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It says a lot about me. King Protea, kind of in a want. Kama is someone I already own, and I don't feel- I feel like she's strong enough without needing to get MP2 for me. Um, Semiramis, I kind of... I'm gonna put her in don't own for now. I didn't call- I called her the wrong thing. Rain. Semiramis is someone else. Um, Arjuna Alter is in want, because he's Arjuna Alter. Nobu, I'm also going to put under want. Scotty, I already- I am actively going to put her in don't, don't want, because I already have her. And I don't need- her MP is the worst thing about her, so I don't want her. Oh, man, Skahawk. She's somewhere between a wanting, because MP2 would be cool, and own. I'm gonna put her in home. Just, just because, yeah. It's mama, I won't put her in one because I always want, like, want summer servants for the most part. I think every summer servant that I don't own is on the want list. Okay. <sighs> so, have an MP5. Using this list here, let's actually kind of determine which one of these have the most units that I would kind of want. So. 
Uh, there's oopsie, oopsie does, eh? How do we get back to here? There we go. I'm gonna kind of do a, a count off for both of them. Um, yeah, let me quickly get a calculator. The calculator app, huh? What? Okay, so I did a count off kind of off screen here and realized that my math is dumb and I'm not a very smart person. So, <laughs> here's the actuality is that uh, once the numbers actually go down here, uh, there's just no way for the... There's just no way for the side to win. There just really isn't. Because there's the, the minus five, the chances of me getting uh, Saber Summer here again and kind of wasting it. Because I don't really have... that. She would be my first ever um, six copy end of a unit. And if you don't know this, the six copy of a unit is basically kind of... Not worthless is the right idea. You get one thing to the pity system, but it's kind of like not really worth it. So... Because you need 10 to get any SSR that you want, so it's kind of really not something I can do. So, I think through this, I think I've determined that, um, yeah, I'm going to be summoning on the this one right here, the Calvary class, plus Alter Ego. It has a lot of dudes I would want, so even if we- let me, can I take this over? No, I can't, so. Just gonna keep it like this. Um... Yeah, that's basically it. I think that's uh, that's basically it. I of those, I think I would love to have the ones that are obviously the ones I love to ha I would love to get are. To be fair, it's just so unstacked. Like if I didn't have Scotty, she would be way up here. Like the only reason she's not up there is because I have her. And there's plenty of other units on here that would be like Takama would be a straight up here at the top if um, I did not already own her. So, and you know, if I'm being honest. I wouldn't mind getting another copy, but whatever. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Sorry I ended up being a weird ending, but you do not want to hear me pretend to do math for like 20 minutes, which was what I was doing. <laughs> that was what was cut. It was nothing good. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I wish you all the best luck. I can't wait for an anniversary time. Uh, look forward to more videos around that time. And I'll see you guys the next time. Remember to leave a like. The f I really appreciate uh, the people who have been leaving likes and commenting on the fate stuff. It helps a whole bunch to get recognized, I think, in some kind of weird algorithm that you YouTube has. Uh, and I really appreciate it. I would love to do more fate videos in general, but it's actually very tough because of my living situation. But once that gets fixed up, man... More Fate stuff would be coming on the way. And I actually do have some stuff that I've been working on in the background. So hopefully one day this stuff will be seen by everyone. But until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. And I wish you all the best. Goodbye. And sleep well. I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace out.